watching. Be careful. I like that slip of drink. See if it works. Yep, it's perfect. It's locked into place, and it touching it. Stopping it from bouncing. So, this is it. You can see the wires. This is bolted down. I have it on the deck because whether I'm standing on the deck, I can use it with my foot. If I'm standing down here, I can just move it with my hand real quick. And uh, the way I have it angled, it's not in the way of this hatch at all where I put a lot of important stuff. Um, as you can see, the wire is coming through here. And the only thing that we're missing is a circuit breaker, and that's where the circuit breaker is going. So as soon as I get the circuit breaker, all I have to do is screw it on. I'll take a second. And that's pretty much it. It looks really good up there. It looks cool. It looks like it's all rigged out for fishing. To increase the value of this boat. All right, we're out at uh, Markham Park. I'm gonna drop it in the water and see if this trolling motor works. My brother's towing the boat today. All right, so this is the trolling motor. It's, uh, it's working good. Going against the current is uh, a little hard when I'm trying to fish at the same time, but um, I'm getting used to it the more I do it. Uh, I didn't catch anything, but I just came out here to test the trolling motor. Yeah, we wanted to catch something, but we didn't come out here hoping to catch anything. We yeah, just wanted to make sure the trolling motor The sun's going work. down now, so we're not going to be out here for much longer. But uh, as you can see, I'm controlling with my foot, and I'm fishing at the same time. And it actually takes some concentration. It's not as easy as it looks. You got to look at the camera, they can't hear you good. It's not as easy as it looks. It takes some concentration. But uh, I know I'm going to get used to it, and then I'll be able to come out here more. We went, we went about a mile down with, with the trolling motor alone. We didn't even need our engine, so it worked very well. We were fishing the whole time. It was really easy. Uh, we had no issues, and um, I'm excited to bring it out more. Uh, I'm out here with my brother today. Like I said, we didn't catch anything, but we, we really didn't come out here to fish that much. We just bought our reels to try anyways. So yeah, working good. Here, let me show you guys how fast we can get going. I don't want to lose control. Yeah, let's see, Try crank up the speed. Yeah, I'm going to crank it up. Check oh. how fast. Okay, okay, Jesse, turn it. Okay. Yeah, you guys, you can lose control on this thing, you know? You got to pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, is that full speed? Yes, yeah, it's full speed right here. Moving. Yeah, it moves the boat around nicely. Yeah, it moves the boat around really It's a what, 55? Uh, pound thrust. 55 pound thrust. 42 inch shaft, Minn Kota, fresh water. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's got the uh, foot controls. It's manual foot controls, it's not electric foot controls, it's cable driven. Cable driven. Uh, this is the Maxim, Maxim series. Uh, if you look back there, I have a 30 horsepower. Currently not in service, but we just came out here to fish yeah, it and test doesn't, it out. It doesn't work right now, but it's a good engine. I got some quotes today of this guy. He's going to actually come over. He's actually going to come over next week, and he's going to give me a quote on how much it's going to be for him to rebuild it. He owns his uh, own uh, boat repair company. Uh, I'll have more information on that another time, but the sun's going down. We're about to leave. We just wanted to come out here and test out the engine. I don't know how good the lighting is right time. now. back over to the dock and put this boat on the ramp before it gets dark so we can bring it home and uh, and store it away 